This is CBS. Wow, a new cereal! Do, 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 Enough of this jungle. It's Indiana Jones, a large size action figure. That boulder's coming in fast. He's new from Tenor's Raiders of the Lost Ark collection. Stay low, Indiana. They're right behind you. Use your whip. Whoa, I'm flipping. Whoa, whoa. I fixed it. Get me out of here. Snap. Indiana Jones, a large size action figure from Raiders of the Lost Ark collection. New from Tenor. Starring the Bungle Brothers, the biggest little act in showbiz, and Dirty Dog and his sidekick Ratso, ever in search of that pot of stew at the end of the rainbow. Along with Crazy Claws, the wildcat with the sharp wit and claws to match. They join the world's fastest Australian bear. First you think you got him, and then you don't. He's a quickie. Koala, it's the quickie. Mmm, sounds like Nasty McEvil. He steals letters so kids can't spell their names. Let's go. No name with A will be spelled today. Yikes! Alfie, the alphabet serial wonder dog. Get him, Alfie. Rip a snake. Thanks, Alfie. Now all kids can spell their names. With alphabets as part of this nutritious breakfast, it's dog dog good. You and your under Underoos look out of sight. Superman! All of us were all good guys. The Hulk! You can pick your favorite if you try. Yes, you can! Underwear is fun to wear. It's true when it's you and your underoos. Now there's the Lone Ranger. And Tonto, too. And the both on your underoos. Lone Ranger and Tonto. What you doing, George? Practicing our great new act. Listen. Look out, George. Here comes a train. It's not a real train. It's only me. Listen. Get up, George. You're squishing a little birdie. Up, Joey. I made those sounds with my voice. I get it, George. I can do one, too. sound effect I ever heard! But don't worry, George. That was just me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a letter for Quickie Koala. I'll take that. Ah. Good morning, outdoors. Nice to see you again. Oh, goody, a letter. Gotcha. Wah. Oh, it's from that contest I entered. Ha! Oh, maybe I want some delicious eucalyptus leaves. Oh, pretty good. Huh? I just love eucalyptus leaves. Hmm. That's strange. I thought I heard someone knock. 
Did he say eucalyptus leaves? That's it. He loves eucalyptus leaves! <laughs> that does it. Hi there. You're about to see Wilford Wolf's foolproof koala bear trap. The bait, a eucalyptus leaf. Now, when koala stops and picks up leaf, the weight of his body drops him into... Oh! From here on, it's pretty obvious. Works like a charm. My, my, what a beautiful day. Bye-bye, little house. I'll see you later. Oh, my goodness. A eucalyptus leaf. Hey! Like, what's going on? That's funny. <laughs> it always works for me. Oh, imagine finding a eucalyptus leaf, as well as being selected as winner for a day, and getting a free all-expense-paid luxury liner cruise. A luxury liner cruise? Free my foot! He'll pay and pay and pay and pay! Oh, goody! We're underway! <laughs> I think I'll unpack later. No, no! Unpack now! Unpack now! Wait! If there's anything I can't stand, it's people who unpack later. <laughs> oh, goodness. I never realized cruises could be so lonely. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Oh, the trip would be much more fun with a friend. Friend, my foot! Why, hello, Mr. Wolf. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, it's so good to have a friend aboard. <laughs> Cheerio, sailor. Ahoy, mate. Lovely weather we're having. <laughs> Must have been a tropical storm. Oh, no, be dum 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 dum. Are you enjoying the cruise, Mr. Wolf? Yeah, yeah. Great time. Me too. See you around. Ah! People should look where they walk. Shuffleboard, anyone? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ha! Gotcha! Hey, take it easy! Anyone can make a mistake! Yeah! Let go! Let go! Oh, dear. I guess everyone is tied up. Oh, goody! We eat! I'm famished! Oh, my, my! Everything looks so tempting! I wonder what's in this one! Huh? Wolf Wellington, what else? Perseverance pays! <laughs> uh -huh. I can almost forget all the bad things he did to me. Hey, you must have done those things to yourself, Mr. Wolf. Huh? Hush up. I know what I'm remembering. A wolf never forgets. Well, that's an elephant. Huh? Oh, whatever. Hush up. We both use our trunks. <laughs> I got a memory like a hawk. Like an elephant. Whatever. <laughs> I never forget. Never, never. Uh-oh. I forgot. I can't swim. I can. You can? Then get out of there. Get out of there. Where are you? Where are you? Why, right behind you, Mr. Wolf. I should have known I didn't have him. You know something, Mr. Wolf? 
you should have learned to swim when you were just a little fella. I know. I know. I know. Uh, nice little fishy. Hey, Joey, this new act is a cinch to get us into show business. Here, put this on. Joey, you're gonna be the trained seal in our new act. A trained seal? Goody, goody, I always wanted to be a trained seal. Uh, what's a trained seal, George? All you gotta do is honk out Yankee Doodle on these horns. Blow harder, Joey! Gee, George, if you wanted to do an act with the whale, why didn't you just say so? And now, these messages. Frosted Flakes. Taste of a banana, sugar frosted flakes. Mm. And you should taste the water difference it makes. Mm. Whoa, Kellogg's put real banana bits on my sugar frosted flakes. They're good. Yeah, Tony, they are great. I knew they'd have appeal. It's Kellogg's banana. New banana. Mm. Frosted Flakes. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Hey, good night, shark breath. Yay! You saved our post Super Sugar Crisp, part of this nutritious breakfast. A super cereal deserves a super bear. any closer and we could wear the same hat and he's a size smaller out of my way can't you see i'm trying to track a wildcat a wildcat uh where right in my hands that's where hmm you call those hands they look more like rejects from a gopher you know what you need is a manicure if you're a girl you need a girlicure if you're a dog you need a pedicure hands off of my hands i ah, never mind if i can't do your nails at least i can do my own hey what's this oh it's another one of those bothersome bobbles do you see what I see? <laughs> Come back here, you bungling bone biter. That confounded critter must have a whole stash of gold somewhere. And Buss is gonna keep him safe and sound till he leads us to it. <laughs> ah, we must get together again soon. Uh, say a year from Wednesday, uh, toodaloo. Hot diggity! Now he's gonna lead us right to that gold. Follow me, you moth-eating mutt. Oh. Well, imagine bumping into you again so soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch where you're going. Sorry, I don't wear a watch, uh, but I've got time on my hands. Keep out. Now, that means dangerous to winter. Oh, yeah? Well, me and my hound dog, we laughs at danger. Don't we bristle, too? <laughs> Come on. Come back! That mine could fall in any minute! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong, it only took half a minute. I warned them. You gotta admit, Ranger, as miners, they got a head start. In a cavern, in a cavern, excavating for a mine. Now, where is that phony 24 carat cap? Uh, sorry, sir, we're all out of carrots. How about a head of lettuce? A uh, ta ta. <laughs> He's going in that creaky cavern. But if he gets away, so does my gold. Them beams is gonna collapse. Uh, uh, Shove, sure, Bristletooth. If anything happens to crazy, we lose all that gold. Well, well, look what I see. A bat. <laughs> 
good. I'll go get my ball and Mitt will have a game. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. Bats love empty, dark places. Oh, you mean like the inside of Clyde's head. Uh, th this here bird woke up. Mammal, Clyde. They're the only mammal that can fly. Really? Uh, so plain dark in here, I can't hardly see him. Ah, but the bat can see by bouncing high-pitched squeaks off of you. Sort of like radar. That's ridiculous. That's with radar. That bat sure proves a point the hard way. You'd better be gone before I return. Uh, easy for him to say. Don't worry, Clyde. I'm an expert at getting rabble out of rubble. <laughs> Well, Crazy, that was downright neighborly of... Crazy? Where did he go? Come on, Hound, we gotta find him and that gold! Now, where is that caterwauling crazy prospector of ours? <laughs> Take it easy! <laughs> you nugget head, he's gonna clobber our ticket to the gold! Quick, make like a cow catcher! I see you pick up. You also deliver? Time to check out those trespassers. Halt! In the name of the... Oh, no! Put me down! Ah, it's awfully nice of you chaps giving me a lift. Enough, Mr. Nice Guy. I want to know where the gold is. Ah, is that all? Well, then we should get off at this stop. What stop? That stop. Oh, no! Well, I'll be hornswaggled. Gold! 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 Look at here, Bristle. We's rich. Gold! Gold! Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I'll bet Rawhide, Clyde, and Bristletooth are behind all this. Actually, they're in front of it. It's mine. All mine. Gold! Gold! Oh, oh, oh. Wrong, Clyde. According to Rule 4506, this mine and all the gold in it belongs to the Park Department. What? You can't do this to me. I'll... What's that? It's those noisy upstairs neighbors again. Let's vamoose. Uh, we don't have time for that. Let's get out of here. The rule book says to avoid cave-ins, keep perfectly silent. <laughs> Looks like we made it. Shucks, there weren't gonna be no key there. And I'm going back for my gold. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You know that Clyde's as impulsive as he is repulsive. Go! 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 Oh my! Poor Clyde! Oh, I'm not well. What was that? That Clyde is what I would call a gold crush. But then you've always had rocks in your head anyway. A beagle ballet act will be buffo, Joey! Uh, but I can't toe dance, George! Of course you can, Joey! Here, take your flowers and try it! I tell you, George, I just can't get up on my toes! Nuts! Sometimes I think I ought to just get out of showbiz! I hate to let George down! <laughs> Come on back, George. I'll try again. Stay up on your toes, Joey. You're doing great. By George, that's me. I think he's got it. And now these messages. There's a little bowling alley right there. You wind up the ball. It's got a little bowling shoes to wear. Rolling yeah. bones, rolling bones, rolling bones, rolling bones. Yeah. It's a little bowling ball that walks right down the lane. It's funny. It's strange. This little bowling game. <laughs> Strolling bowling is a little portable bowling alley from Tommy.
It's a great deal. Believe me, it's a great deal. You bought it, pal. <laughs> this is Trust Me, where it can be hard to know who to trust or when to trust them. Trust me, Dad. This investment's worth it. A game where you try to get people to invest in your property. You can trust me, Grant. Nope, too risky. You can make a lot of money and win I'll do or it. lose a lot. Mom and Dad, you've been happy. <laughs> Trust me, a family game. You from Parker Brothers. See you, it's new AT-AT, the all-terrain armored transport from Kenner. Batteries not included, action figures each sold separately. You can make AT-AT walk. Its legs are big enough to crush obstacles. You can move AT-AT's head and pretend to scan for rebels. AT-AT has a cockpit for Imperial Commander and AT-AT Driver and laser machine guns. When you push a button to fire the laser cannons, you activate battle lights and sounds. There's even a troop compartment. New at hat from Kenner's Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back Collection. Oh, Doidy, I'm so hungry, my stomach's given up growling. Now it just whimpers. Relax, my ravenous rodent. Our Din Din Dilemma is over. In Yon Cinema, we can enjoy a meal and a movie. But how do we get in? Come with me. Goodbye. Thank you. Uh, come again. Wasn't that an extraordinary film, Ratso? How should I know? I... Oh, it was great. Great! Nighty-night, sir. Good night. Come again. Huh? Mm. Mm hmm all comfy, Ratso? You're the greatest. So, a couple of popcorn pinchers, eh? Not me, Officer Bullhorn. There's the dog. He made me do it. He did. He did. Good night. Come again? <sighs> We've outrun it. Rats, I wanted to see that flying saucer movie. Forget it. There's no such thing as flying saucers. <gasps> oh, no! Of course not. They're just... Yay! Well, the flying saucer landed. In the name of Galaxy 7, I claim this planet... A ray flash! Duck! Unbelievable! Earthlings, you are my prisoners. Ratso, with that magic gizmo, we might solve our dining dilemma. A word of advice, my futuristic friend. Oh, no! Please, Dirty, don't do anything to make him mad. You'll never capture Earthlings with that uh, toy. Toy? Nothing is as powerful as my ripoff ray. Except this, my Zappo Whacker. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh! Take it, Ratso. You're on. Ooh, ah! What? <laughs> oh, oh. Slick super stick. Gimme. Amazing. You can have this old thing. I'd say a fair exchange. More of your junk, eh? Illegal parking, faulty muffler, no license plate. Stop, Earthling. You are my prisoner. Very funny, but Halloween is over. I warned you. Zap, zap, zap! Uh-oh. I believe some assistance is called for. Zappo! <gasps> Help! The space aliens have landed! My big Earthling got away! Oh, easy, easy! You want Earthlings? We've got Earthlings. Let us preamble into town where you can take your pick. Oh, very well. Ah, a perfect spot to search for Earthlings. Perhaps hiding in there. You, zap them out. At your command, Captain Alien. <laughs> I don't see any Earthlings. Caught in the act. Oh, I bet I get a medal for this. You promised me Earthlings, and I am mad. Mad, 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 mad. Maybe even two medals. A Centurion bobblehead. Run for your life. Come, a 
verstand. <lacht> Those creatures are highly dangerous. Find me an Earthling fast, or I will take you two back to my galaxy. Uh, uh, no need for that, my tiny star trekker. <laughs> uh, there's an Earthling now. Honest, Chief. We're being invaded. There are these little spacemen with ray guns and... Uh, and then... Uh, hello? Chief? Hello? Stop! You are my prisoner! <laughs> Got you! Escape! Then you two will have to do! Agent 29, report! Oh, most magnificent one! I have captured two Earthlings! Yuck! Is that the best you can find? I beg your planetary pardon? You're speaking about Dandy, Debonair, Dirty, Jock. And where is your ripoff ray? I tricked the Earthling. I traded it for this more powerful weapon. Zap! A bumber shoot. You have failed in your mission. I'm recalling you at once. He's gone. Yeah. Who's that gizmo? Is, is your friend gone? A friend? He's no... Yes, our dear friend is gone. <laughs> but I'm sure he'll be back to take over. Ooh, then you'll put in a good word for me, won't you? Why don't we discuss that? Over dinner. Your treat. And the movie, too. Oh, sure, sure. Whatever you say. After all, any friend of that s s spaceman is a friend of mine. <laughs> Why, thank you, officer. And thank you, my planetary pal, wherever you are. And now, these messages. Brush your teeth. Haven't got time, Mom. <laughs> Good. Open wide. Who are you? Hurtful J. Cavity's the name. By not brushing, you're asking for some nice hurty cavities. Never fear. AIM is here. Ooh, I hate AIM. AIM fights cavities and it tastes good. AIM does taste good. Now maybe you'll brush. Brushing is as important as fluoride in fighting cavities. I will brush with AIM. Bye. Good girl. Take AIM against cavities. The Glamour Gals Collection. Glamour Gals! Dolls, Party Place, Fancy Firebird, the Showplace Collector's Case. Each sold separately. You can send in proofs of purchase from any three Glamour Gals dolls. Jesse, Danny, Lonnie, or Shara in any of three outfits. And get Jesse and Fancy Formal free. Details are on the specially marked packages. Offer expires on March 1st, 1982. Glamour Gals Collection. Jesse and Beautiful Bride. Other dolls and play sets sold separately. New from Kenner. Inside this candy shell is Reese's peanut butter flavor. Reese's Pieces. Well, imagine your surprise when you realize. Wow! Ah! Reese's peanut butter flavors inside. Reese's Pieces. Wow! Some difference. 
It's Kenner's Betty Crocker Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven. Preheat 15 minutes, light bulb not included. Here's what you can make in an Easy Bake, an Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven. Chocolate and a yellow cake in an Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven. Pour in the mix, it's lots of fun. Bake 10 minutes till it's nice and done. You can ice the cake that you bake in an Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven. Delicious! Betty Crocker Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven with Betty Crocker Mixes from Kenner. This is CBS. Are some little petty folks living in a place called Troll Town? Funniest little old folks you ever will meet. At the bottom of a tree is a tiny little house they live in. Dancing up a storm in a tiny Troll Town street. They call him Trollkins, them good old Trollkins. They're not as big as you and me, but if you look, you just might see them. Trollkins, them good old Trollkins. Dude, that a fussing in a troll town, them, Marie. They call him Trollkins, them good old Trollkins. This boy is losing oh. his grip. Oh. Why did he lose his grip so soon? Oh. He didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Mm. Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really get you going. Hey. It's the great tasting bubble yum sweepstakes. Millions will enter to win the grand prize weekend for four at any Six Flags Park. A Thousands of other great prizes. To enter, send two wrappers or the words Bubble Yum Bubble Gum to Box 2705, Westbury, New York, 11591. There's no faster way to get to Troll Town than on the Frumpkin Leeway, the Lumpkin Freeway. A troll gate on the freeway? That's absolutely optoporous. I mean, Papsilapsi optometrist. It's untrollocratic. <laughs> sure does fatten up the troll town treasury, though. <laughs> A mayor's credit is always good. Crook! What? Ooh! Isn't that the mayor's car? Yeah, we better go see what's up. Hmm, what's this? Warning, the Bermuda Troll Angle. Do not enter under any circumstances. Great Grasselnax, this whole thing is stretching my imagination. I'm being pulled into the Bermuda Troll Angle! The Bermuda Troll Angle? Sheriff, we may never see the mayor again! <laughs> now there's an interesting thought! Daddy, help! We're being pulled into the Bermuda Troll Angle, too! Big feet! Well, don't just stand there, Blake! My baby's in trouble! This day is 
Bowser, do it! Uh, what now? Oh, the blasted wrong pox, uh, punk rock musicians! I can't never understand a word they're singing! All right, you hippies, the party's over! In the name of Lair Mumpkin! Ugh, you Lair Mumpkin, you beat one eye! Ugh, three Uggs for Mumpkin! Ugh, Uggs, hooray! Ugh, Uggs, hooray! Unk, unk, hooray! Whoa! Look out! Oh, oh. Where are we? I don't know, but I think we've gone back to troll historic times. Trolls? Must have gone through some sort of time tunnel. Troll historic time tunnel. Come on, Pixley. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Trolls! Let's get out of here! Hey, hey, uh, Trollosaurus! Uh, uh, look out behind you! It works! Uh-oh. Unhand me, you huffians! Uh, unhand me, you ruffians! What in troll nation? Ugh, you king of cave trolls! Gee, they can't come a thing. Uh, think I'm a king. Long live King Muggin! King Muggin, huh? A lumpkin? <laughs> now, that has a nice ring to it. Ugh, me get cave queen. Quave King? Uh, Cave Queen? Say, <laughs> a fella could get to like this sting cuff. Uh, King Stuff. Mayor Lumpkin. Oh, uh, that's King Lumpkin, Pixley. Royal leader of the Cave Troll. But, Dad, we got to get back to Troll Town. Please. Uh, well, not now, son. I'm awaiting the arrival of my queen. Queen? queen? Trolls? Aga, aga. Kingy wingy! Come to me, Mayor Faden, uh, the fair maiden! Aga, aga! Me, haga, king maga! Yeah! Hooey! Blitz! Pixley! Help! Aga! When I come back! King maga, save us! Oh, what in troll nation? Who is this one eye weller? Uh, one eye fella, anyway? <laughs> Me. Well, it sounds like you two would make a perfect match. Uh, perfect match. Uh, you fight them. King fight one eye or else. Okay, okay. Where is this pig beluka? Uh, big beluka. There. It's a Clyslops. Uh, Lyslop. A uh, Sly Cop. Uh, a one-eyed monster. Get me out of here. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, did anyone ever tell you that your eye looks beautiful when you're angry? <laughs> I guess not. Help! Help! Oh, no! That Cyclops has got Mayor Lumpkin! Blitz, do something! Fluky, do something! <laughs> Good idea, Fluke! Uh, but, but, but please, Mr. One-Eye, uh, don't eat me. Why, 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 tears may slousy. Uh, mayors taste lousy. Uh, how about a trade, huh? How about a year subscription to Monster Monthly? Or uh, 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 a box of Troll Scout cookies? <coughs> okay, then a box of Troll Scouts. Anything. Just let me go. <laughs> I'm going to rake you a offer and uh, make you an offer that you can't refuse. 
Welcome. I drive the hard bargain. <laughs> Leap and troll wizards. The mayor's in a treadmill. Stop stabbering, stop jabbering, and, and arrest that cyclops. All right, Mr. Cyclops. You're, You're under. <laughs> cyclops? Or it fight! must have thought we were a fly. You think so, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, he thought we were a fly, all right. Muffle it, mate. The Cyclops' footprints lead right into this cave. Well, we wouldn't want to disturb him, right, Loki? Troll! Come on, you fraidy troll. We gotta rescue Mayor Lumpkin. Look, there he is. But, 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 do I have to? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> this is muhillerating, uh, humiliating, uh, and the pay is lousy too. <laughs> Oh. Of course, get into the spoon. What? Spit into the goon? Uh, get into the spoon? There's the signal. Here we go. Hey, where you go? Hey, you hey. Toy plane. From Tonka. This boy is losing oh. his grip. Oh. Why did he lose his grip so soon? Oh, he didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Mm, like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, Get you going. Hey. Let you know what this is. It's the Darth Vader collector's case from the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. Inside, it's got room for your favorite Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back action figures. They fit? Yeah. There's Dengar, Adat Driver, Rebel Commander, Leia, and 21B. You can hold up to 31 action figures, each sold separately, and you can take them with you. Darth Vader collector's case. Action figures, each sold separately. From Kenner. Hurry up with that burger. 
Would you finish that burger? Well, Duke, I'm eating as fast as I can. Push over the game up, take it back riding, bumping and dumping and sliding. Push over. She slides past the pot and picks up a chip. Ten chips will win, she's got to be quick. Push over. He can roll three dice or two or just one, but if they total past four, his turn is done. He rolls just right. He pushes one out and the chips are in sight. Up from behind, around the bend. It seems he was losing, but he's going to win. Push over. Push over. New from Parker Brothers. This is CBS. Bugs Bunny Roadrunner Show will return after these messages. Let go my ego. You let go my ego. Give me my skateboard for breakfast. Some donuts. I'll go nuts if you don't let go my ego. Oh, Dennis, I just love the yummy taste of ego waffles, so please let go. It's green and purple and has a million legs. I don't know. Me either, but it's crawling up your arms. Uh Start your good breakfast with Eggo Waffles from Kellogg's. <laughs> Little brothers. Ah. Hey, gang, show me your mugs. Marshall Mello here. Ah. I'm going to deputize all of you with my new star-studded Marshall Mello cocoa mix. Oh. Deputy Pam, the packet. Deputy Dan, hot tap water. Deputy Sam, stir. I see stars, Marshall Mello. Eat them up. Mmm! It's your rootin' tootin' cocoa with marshmallow whooping your stars! My stars! And now back to the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner Show. Batteries not included. Digital Derby Auto Raceway comes complete with lap counter and timer by Tomy. This is CBS.
messages. Kenner's new Fast Ones Dynaloop set with a blazing bandit and one of a kind Fast Ones license plate. And now to be the Fast Ones Dynaloop champion. Huh? That's you. Will it really loop the loop? Sure, why? Sure. Be back. There it goes. Dynaloop. I win. Fast Ones Dynaloop set with Fast Ones Blazing Bandit Racer. You have to put it together. New from Kenner. Honeycomb's part of this nutritious breakfast. Big, big bite! What's pink and white and lots of fun? It comes inside honeycomb. The Easter Bunny? No. <laughs> A pack of Trident bubble gum. Look, I got cinnamon! Five different Trident chewing gum flavors. One in specially marked boxes of Post Honeycomb cereal. These are the new Stomper SSC Super Cycles. Cycles with a speed you power with a quick pull on the red cord. You can race them with a friend, or you can set up your own daredevil stunt course indoors or out. The Stomper SSC Super Cycles are cycles with speed. Stomper SSC Super Cycles, each sold separately or in sets. New from Shopper. new Fast Ones Dynaloop set with a blazing bandit and one of a kind Fast Ones license plate. And now to be the Fast Ones Dynaloop champion. Huh? That's you. Will it really loop the loop? Sure, why? Sure. Beat that. There it goes. Dynaloop. I win. Fast Ones Dynaloop set with Fast Ones Blazing Bandit Racer. You have to put it together. New from Kenner. This is CBS. John Blackstar, astronaut. Is swept through a black hole into an ancient alien universe. Trapped on the planet Sagar, Blackstar is rescued by the tiny Trobit people. In turn, he joins their fight for freedom against the cruel overlord. who rules by the might of the Power Star. The Power Star is split into the Power Sword and the Star Sword. And so, with Star Sword in hand, Black Star, together with his allies, sets out to save the planet Sagar. This is his destiny. I am John Black Star. Black Star will return after these messages. Luke Skywalker handles his saber well, Ben Kenobi. You should know, Yoda. Yes, I've been the Jedi Master for 800 years. Yoda and other action figures each sold separately. Beep, 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 beep. It's okay, R2-D2. I've got my laser pistol. Hold it, Luke. They're afraid of your snake, Yoda. You have nothing to fear. The Force is all around us. Yoda and other action figures each sold separately from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Collection from Kenner. Fashion plates. Fashionable young ladies can now create fashions with fashion plates. You can change tops, bottoms, and hairstyles. Fashion plates. You can give them any color you want and even choose different textures. You can make hundreds of fashionable combinations. It's got all those fashionable traits. And they call it Fashion Plates. Fashion Plates comes with 15 different plates and 8 coloring pencils. Paper not included. By Tomy. And now, back to Black Star. And so, with Black Star and Mara, 
This Trabuk delegation has come to your city of Gondar to seek your help against the forces of the Overlord. Why should we make trouble for ourselves? The Overlord has never bothered Gondar. But, Dal, uh, it's only a matter of time before we feel the Overlord's hand. I think we should join the rebellion. I need time to think on this. Ah, don't be such a chicken toad. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> Looks like a little gift from the Overlord, Prince Dell. It's Marakan, the city of zombies. Let's get out of here! Grab my hand. Luina and the city. Gone. And Mara and Gossamir. We gotta shave him! We've gotta get up there first. Leave that to me. Whoa! Get me and my big mouth. My spell is fading. We'll have to jump for it. Looks like we'll have to climb the rest of the way. It figures. Who rules in Marakan, Balkar? I've only heard legends. They speak of Shaldamar, the ancient, who drains the life force from people and makes them zombie slaves of the Overlord. <laughs> then we'll find this Shaldamar. Mara, the Enchantress, and a pair of trumpets. The Overlord will be most pleased when I bring you to him as zombie slaves. What do you mean? Who are you? I am Shaldemar. I shall drain your life forces personally. Not if I can help it. Thank you, my dear. That was most tasty. It leaves me hungry for more. If I can't stop you, then Black Star will. No one can touch me as long as I have the Sphere of Souls. And into the Sphere, your souls will go. <laughs> No, 
more of you will escape. We'll never find them in this maze. We won't stop looking until we do, Dell. Not the welcome wagon. You are our prisoners. Keep your distance, buddy. Okay, you asked for it. What? Something. I am. I'm yelling. Yay! Whoa! Come on, Dal. Let's go. Fight a city full of zombies? Yuck! Maybe we can't fight them, but we can fool them. Black Star will return after these messages. Watch me fool Fred out of his pebbles. Tell your future Fred Flintstone. Okay, Swami. I see someone after your most prized possession. Who, Swami? Who? Oh, it's 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 not clear. I need food for thought. Try some fruity pebbles. Hmm, very delicious. Let me take a look. Bedrock Bowling League. Barney, my pebbles. Didn't mean to bowl you over, Fred. <laughs> Most fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious. New Golden Dream Barbie fashion face, looking so pretty. Now, Barbie, you need a real fancy look for your party. Let's go for it. Because there's quick curl hair all around her face, you can give Golden Dream Barbie fashion face just about any look you can dream up. With glamorous play makeup and lots of sparkling jewelry, too. 
Is that fancy enough? Yeah, real fancy. Neat curl. Golden Dream Barbie Fashion Face comes with fashion accessories, jewelry, makeup, and sunglasses. New from Mattel. A nutritious breakfast and Cap'n Crunch's peanut butter cereal can be part of it. <coughs> now, mind you, I wouldn't say that peanut butter cereal is Smedley's favorite food. <coughs> of course, uh, he would. Now, from Cap'n Crunch cereals, thumb tennis. Snap it together. You can play it alone or with a friend. Yeah. Or see who can play nonstop the longest. Thumb yeah, tennis. Yeah. Keep it going. In specially marked boxes of Cap'n Crunch cereals. Okay, guys, let's give it a go. Try to think, zombie. Well, I didn't know zombies could think. I'm a zombie. I'm a zombie. Ooh. I'm a zombie. It's Louina! 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 No, Del. She's a zombie. They are not zombies. Stop them. It's Mara. She has Gashima. I will stop them. <laughs> All of you, get back. I'll handle Mara. I can't keep this up long. Mara's magic packs a wallop. You shall not get away that easily, Rebel. Black Star. She just doesn't give up. Blackstar doesn't seem to be doing too well. And neither are we. I know of a spell that might just protect the Sagar. Good. Gossamer, fly Balkar back to the Sagar tree. Hey! What about me? You have to help Dal and me stop this Shaldemar character before it's too late. Oh, boy. Good luck, my friends! You're the lucky ones. You're getting out of here. Well, how do we stop Shaldemar if we can't even find him? Get back! Come, zombies. Shaldemar beckons us. Looks like this group will lead us right to him. Let's move! Is it going to work, ball car? It has to work. Here comes Clone. I 
I've got it. The fire bat feather. Good work, clone. Yes, the fire bat wasn't too pleased about it, but here goes. This potion must be poured into the underground river that feeds the roots of Sagar. Ah! We haven't much time. It's getting closer. I'll take the door on the right. Dal, you and Riff take the one on the left. I'd rather take the next boat out of here. Whatever's down this corridor, it couldn't possibly be worse. Now to pour the potion into the river. These hallways are trouble. I think I'll take a little shortcut. Surrender, Black Star, to the Sphere of Souls. reach the Sagar tree. Marakand! If only we're not too late. for this with your soul. No, the sphere of souls, the life forces, they're escaping!
it really you? Well, Dal, Lawina, we all wish you luck in ruling Marakand. Our first official job will be to change its name. To the new city of Gondar. And as for the people here in Gondar, you can count on us to help you fight the Overlord. Thanks, Dal. You won't regret it. Oh, no! Not again! I don't think we'll have any problem with this, Dummy. <laughs> and now these messages. You can roll a Rolo to your pal. Chocolate covered chewy caramel. Roll-up to your mate. It's chewy and it's chocolate. Really great. Hmm. Roll-up. Chewy chunks of caramel, each covered in real milk chocolate. All rolled together. You can roll a roll -up with your friends. It's chocolate-covered caramel from end to end. Hey, what you eating? A neat candy bar. Boy, is it crispy. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. It smells peanutty. What do you call it? What you call it? What you gonna call it? That's right. What's right? The name. What name? What you gonna call it? You forgot the name. What you gonna call it? The totally different crunchy bar of peanutty tasting crisp drenched in chocolate. What you gonna call it from Hershey? You can ask for it by name. Can I have some of that? Some of what? and shave can how does barbie get so beautiful she knows beauty secrets <laughs> beauty secrets barbie doll comes with a beauty kit sport and shave ken dolls sold separately from mattel this is cbs the lone ranger Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. With his fearless Indian friend Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early west. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Ayo Silver! Away! Time.
Tarzan, Lone Ranger, Zorro Adventure Hour. We'll return after these messages. Six, seven, eight. This boy nine, is running out ten, of energy. Eleven. Why did he run out so soon? He didn't fuel up. What? With a good breakfast. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast... One, two, three, four, it'll really keep you jumping high down the left. Let's start! When you slap your hands with your friends, play and give me five the fun shooting hands. Shoot your marbles in for a score, shoot the black one in and score five more. You can watch the mount, and then you count. The most marbles in is the one that wins. Give me five. New from Shopper. Some assembly required. And now, back to the Tarzan Lone Ranger Zolo Adventure. tonight. <laughs> Mark Twain grew up right here in Hannibal, you know. Of <laughs> course I know. But he used his real name then, Sam Clemens. I went to school with him. <laughs> I hear he just finished a new book all about growing up here in Hannibal. Hurry up, Father. We'll be late. I'm blushing over the fuss you folks here in my hometown of Hannibal have made over my return visit. It was far more than I deserved, and far less than I expected. <laughs> you know, of course, that uh, man is the only animal that blushes, or needs to. That was probably a cannon shot from a literary critic who, who heard I was back in town. I hope to silence those attacks with the book I just finished here. I call it The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, right here in Hannibal, Missouri. The hotel's been blown up and the safe's been robbed! The safe. Gone. Tom Sawyer is gone. The only copy in the whole world. Mr. Twain? Uh, a silver bullet. Yes, yes, I've heard of the man who fights for law and order in the West. He uses silver bullets. No hoofprints, Kimusabi. And he's partners with an Indian. We'd like to help recover your manuscript, Mr. Twain. I've read everything you've written, and I was looking forward to Tom Sawyer. <laughs> so were my creditors. Uh, Mr. Twain, Mr. Twain, I'm Montague Fitzmaurice, the editor of the Hannibal Journal. Somebody left this note at my office. Pay $10,000 or Tom Sawyer will be burned. No, but, but I don't have $10,000. Well, your publisher must. I'm sure that's what the outlaw believes. So wire for the money, Mr. Twain, and meanwhile, we'll be setting a trap. Good job, Mr. Fitzmaurice. We'll put the cut-up newspaper in the bag instead of the money, and... I just found this under the back door, Mr. Haynes. I, I, I mean, Mr. Fitzmaurice. Oh, that's all right, Eddie. Thanks. You may go. Looks like the ransom note we've been waiting for. Why did the boy call you Mr. Haynes? If Sam Clemens can change his name to Mark Twain, why can't plain old Bob Haynes become Montague Fitzmaurice? I'm a writer, too, you know. We need names that sound... Important? Exactly. I was right. Leave money at Skull Rock at midnight. I'll go out there now and hide nearby. Good. I'll bring the fake money tonight and leave. When he comes to pick it up, I'll grab him. I'll be circling back around in case you need me. There it is, big fella. Skull Rock. 
And there's Tonto's call. He's in place. Let's go, Silver. Away! the bait. Now Tonto will spring the... What's that? Look out, Tonto! Dynamite! Easy, big fella. Let's go, Silver! Tonto! I'm all right, Kim Sabi. Where did that arrow come from? The other side of the trees. Come on, big fella! Away! No fake money. But, but how did he know the money was fake? Either he had inside information or he just assumed we'd try a trick. Well, this isn't fake money, Mr. Twain. $10,000 in grade A U.S. number one greenbacks. Your publisher wired it here an hour ago. Carry you. I counted it personally, but if you'd like to double check. <laughs> Good work, Montague. W where's Tom Sawyer? What have you done with my book? Book? What did I want with a book? Come on, it's the hooskull for you. I was coming to show you this latest note. Leave money at Injun Joe's cave. This time, no tricks or Tom Sawyer's done for. Where is Injun Joe's cave? About 10 miles out of town on the old road. That's right. Excuse me, I've got to put this attempted robbery story in my paper. Hmm. The earth is dry and brittle, Kimosabe. Very dangerous. Here. I don't know how the thief expects to pick up the money without our seeing him come in and out. But let's play it his way. A secret passage. Look out, Tonto! It's a cave in! The Mississippi Princess. What a beauty. The note says I'll find Tom Sawyer in cabin number three. There's not much hair left. I, I know, but, but we must keep trying. Yes. All right. Uh, again. Tarzan, Lone Ranger, Zorro Adventure Hour will return after these messages. Crayola crayons. It's fun to create with Crayola. You can make a purple lake with fish both thin and fat. Or a happy birthday cake and goofy party hat. Crayola crayons. You can make a ghost to take to funny puppet shows. You can make a spotted snake that grows and grows and grows. Cause it's fun to create with Crayola. Crayola crayons come in this box of 64 different colors with a built-in sharpener. There's a ball that's lots of fun. It's Nerf Basketball. With a team or one-on-one. -on -one. It's Nerf Basketball. Hooking, dribbling, all the moves. Inside flight for kids to use. It's Nerf Basketball. You can grip it as you go. For a layup or free throw. Sure thing. Try to make it with Nerf Basketball. Also sold separately, Nerf Hoop, Nerf Ball, and Super Nerf. Nerf Basketball from Parker Brothers. Is it hard to put on? It takes practice. 
It's fun. Crayon Children's Play Cosmetics are each sold separately and washed off with plain soap and water. Crayon. Eyeshadow. Your eyes look mysterious. Crayon. Nail polish. I love it. Crayon. Cologne. Look, the new egg. <laughs> Crayon, lipstick, eyeshadow, nail polish, and cologne are each sold separately. New from Remco. And now, back to the Tarzan Lone Ranger Solo Adventure. Well, here's number three. Wait a minute. I got it. I know who stole Tom Sawyer. Of course. Hey! Put feet against crack. One. Uh, two. Uh, now. Uh, Good, Kimusabi. More. Yes. Uh, more. Uh, more. Uh. Hey. Look, Tonto. Hmm. This passage leads outside. The money's gone. He got away. Twain, he got a note a couple of hours ago and he left right away for the pier. The riverboats are gone. Of course it is. They don't know nothing, do they, Jed? Hey, Jordan, he's an engine. And the other one, he's got a mask. What? We're not outlaws, boys. Do you know the river? Like Freddy knows flies. What? Is there a way to catch up with the Mississippi princess? With a passenger along? Sure. Selby Stream cuts off about 50 miles of river. And meet up with the princess at Ashford. It'll cost you. One of them shiny bullets will do it. In advance. For two of them, we'll throw in Freddy. What? No. Boys and bullets don't mix. But how's this? A silver horseshoe. Welcome aboard, mister. I'll head for Ashford with the horses. And if you get there before we do, board the princess and try to find Mark Twain. Adios. Adios, Kimusabe. Come on, mister. We got some sailing to do. Sorry I had to do this, Mr. Twain, but I knew you'd figure out... I was the one who stole Tom Sawyer. I slipped up when I told the Lone Ranger where Injun Joe's cave was. Only someone who read the manuscript would know you used Morgan's cave outside Hannibal as the place your character, Injun Joe, hides out. That was a stupid mistake. But still, I got the money. I had to catch a real bank robber to save the money from me, but I got it. The question is, what do I do with you? <laughs> Time's up. Is not. Is. Give me the shoe. Jed, Jordan, you're gonna have to learn how to share. It's mine now. Is not. Is. Is not. Come on. You mule head! No! Don't! It's okay. He can swim. It's not that. There are water moccasins all around here. Deadly snakes. Look! Jed! Jed! Come back! Leave it be!
Scout! Go, Silver! Away! For sure now, we can go faster than they can in this fog. But not too fast, boys. It's still dangerous out here. Listen, that's her. That could be any riverboat, Jordan. If Jordan says it's her, mister, it's her. It's her. She's barely moving. Once I get aboard, be sure you pull ashore for the night. Thanks, Jed. Jordan, sorry about the horseshoe. You gave me my life, mister. That's enough, Ted. You know that engine with the two horses we took aboard back at Lorraine's Landing? Well, he paid his fare in solid silver. Ain't that something? Kimusabe! Now what? We find Mark Twain. Right. Yes, sir? Sorry. Aliens! You! I'll get him! He started out just jealous of my success. Then he got greedy. He was going to hold me for ransom. Of course, my publisher might have told him he could have me. <laughs> Help me, Captain. Two outlaws are after my money. An Indian and a Basque man. Put me ashore immediately. I'll make it worth your while. Here, put me ashore. I'll put you in a brig, mister. Now get out of this pilot house. We're in deep fog. Gee, Hossafat. I used to be a riverboat pilot. Something's wrong. Head for shore. I said get out of the pilot house. out of the stable. Easy, big fella. The fire's almost out of control. Just in time. Grab a pole, Jed. We ought to be out in this fog like this. I know, but ain't it sure peaceful. Rough 
Did it hit? Rough. Did it hit? Engine room. Stop all engines. <laughs> Jed! Jed! Look out! All engines! Back! Full! Silver! Away! Good going, big fella! Take them to shore! We're lucky an ex-riverboat pilot like you was aboard, Mr. Twain. This Morris hasn't gotten off the boat, Mark. I searched from stem to stern, everywhere. He's not on board. You know who I ain't seen? Freddy! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. I give up. Looks like it's all here. Tom Sawyer is alive and well. But, but how did you know it was me? When something falls into a lady's lap, she's likely to move her knees apart to catch it in her skirt. A man catches something in his lap by bringing his knees together. Just what you did to catch Freddy. I'm going to use that in a story someday. Yes, sir, I truly am. You mean, I was caught by, by... Yes, sir, by a frog. <laughs> and by a man I didn't even get a chance to thank. The Lone Ranger. Hiya, Silver! Mark Twain was a real person, one of America's great writers. His Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, boys growing up along the Mississippi before the Civil War, are among fiction's most wonderful characters. And Mark Twain did have Huck Finn disguise himself as a girl and get found out because he caught something in his lap like a boy does. Till our next adventure together, adios amigos. Tarzan, Lone Ranger, Zorro Adventure Hour will return after these messages. Hello, what? Okay, Tippy Guys, hang on. You can't pretend just because she's learning to walk. Tippy Toes, she goes out without any socks. Tippy Toes, but she can't paddle off without you. Tippy Toes, if you teach her what to do. When you see her walk on her little bare toes, uh -oh. it's her little bare bottom that shows. Tippy Toes. Tippy Toes doll walks only when her stroller is attached and pushed. Your parents have to put it together. Move from the towel. Your Honor, let's look at the evidence. New Dinky Donut cereal looks like little donuts. But it stays crispy in milk. And it's fortified with eight vitamins. Plus iron. Dinky Donut cereal is a good part of this nutritious breakfast. And, and we rest our case. Why? The judge ate the evidence. I couldn't help it. The case is closed. New Dinky Donuts looks and tastes like little donuts. But it's really a delicious cereal. I love it. And now, back to the Tarzan Lone Ranger Zorro Adventure. Presenting Ronald McDonald and Wacky World Racers. A race one time around the world and back, and the winner gets a delicious McDonald's cheeseburger. Don't you know? Ooh. Ready? Go! And they're off. Ronald McDonald going to the lead. Gotta win that McDonald's cheeseburger. 
happening when the goblins are gaining ground? They're losing ground. No, they're gaining ground again. And it's Grimace spinning out of the turn in France. He sure must want that McDonald's cheeseburger. Better hop to it, Hamburglar. Back to France. I hope I'm winning. And back to Ronald McDonald. Meanwhile in Spain. And breaking into the lead is absolutely no one. There's no telling who's going to win that McDonald's cheeseburger. And down the stretch they come. Uh oh, watch out, Ronald. Hop and make hamburgers. And the winner is Ronald McDonald by a neck. Let's see that finish again. It's still Ronald McDonald by a neck. There's so much fun for you today. Thanks, everyone. I always flip for a McDonald's cheeseburger. At McDonald's. <laughs> this is CBS. Hi, folks. <laughs> <laughs> The Tom and Jerry Comedy Show. And now these messages. Abby, the crayon lady. Come in. Hi, I'm your crayon lady. Crayon. Hot slicks. Hot slicks are from the Crayon Play Cosmetics line, each sold separately. Your lips are shiny. Crayon. Lip gloss. Smells good. Crayon. Blusher. Crayon lady, I feel beautiful. Crayon Hot Slicks Lip Gloss and Blusher, each sold separately. Also available in other colors and flavors, new from Remco. Here's real turboprop aerial action. Here's Tonka's Hand Command turboprop. You can put an action figure aboard, spin the props, retract the wheels, climb, zoom, and dive. You can pretend to fly anywhere. A Tonka toy will Tonka Action figure not included. And command turboprop toy plane. From Tonka. These old books could only talk. Take another book, you big clown. Oh, okay. Not that one either. Come on, Tiger. Nobody likes a big mouth book. Hmm. How to live to be 100. This I gotta read. Hmm. After you get to 99, be very careful. While Slick is trying to make it to 99, let's you and I take a peek at the latest Tom and Jerry adventure.
painting is done with a wrist. Of course, a paintbrush does help. <laughs> It took me three days to build this. How long would it take you? Oh, uh, no time at all. <laughs> you already built it. <laughs> While you recover from that joke, why not watch me in my next adventure? Once upon a time, there was a mad scientist. Why do they always call me mad? I am not mad! But I am sore. Ooh, ah! And his top secret mystery ray. And two very alert gods. I mean, one very alert god. Thank you. And, of course, the evil villain who is trying to steal the mystery ray. God! You! The alert one! Yes, mad scientist? I just heard some villain is trying to steal my mystery ray. So don't let anyone in here, you got it? Yes, sir. I will not let anyone in here. I think I made a boo-boo. Excuse me, sir, but... Shh! <laughs> now, where did he go? Fortunately, he was eating crackers, so if I follow the crumbs, I should find him and the mystery ray. Uh-oh. My, how the time flies when you're having fun. He must be in here. I know that because this is where the crumbs stop. And also, it says on the mailbox, Villain lives here. There's no one home! Hmm, what do I do now? You know what, folks? I'm happy. You'll never get that mystery ray back. Oh, gracious me. Hello, Mr. Villain. I don't suppose you'd like to return the mystery ray? Don't suppose? <laughs> never, never, never! I wonder if that means no. Did you ever get the feeling you were welcome? I'll do it for sure. 
This is going to be one of those days. Just a few more seconds. Can't you do anything? That should finish them. Get me! Oh no! No! <laughs> now I have you! Isn't this exciting? If I'm not being too nosy, what does that mystery ray do, Mr. Mad Scientist person? I don't know! And that's what makes me so mad! What's he so mad about? I'm the one who had all the trouble. It's Kenner's turret and probot playset. You have to put it together. Let's check it out, Chewbacca. <laughs> Keep me covered with a laser cannon. Action figures each sold separately. You can move Han Solo with the action lever and knock out the probot. We got him, Chewie! Yay! But now they know where we are. Turret and probot playset from Kenner's Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. It's Digital Daredevil, that's the way you say the name. Getting a motorcycle over obstacles is the way you play the game. If you want to be a player, you have to move the cycle just right. And if you don't play real careful, you'll see a flashing light. You can play at lower high speeds and even control the jump. And if you're really a good player, the cycle gets through without a bump. Batteries not included. Digital Daredevil, the digital motorcycle stunt game is made by Tommy. The new Legoland Fire Station. You build it for action. You can raise the door, push the truck, pretend that there's a fire. To get the crew up closer, you can raise the ladder higher. Or how about Legoland Main Street? You can drive up a truck, crank the crane, and raise a heavy load. Or open the door, man the car, and steer it down the road. The action's up to you. The Legoland Main Street from the Legoland Town Collection. Legoland Fire Station sold separately from Lego Systems. you join me for another chuckle-filled romp with Tom and Jerry? <laughs> Plane will make a swell present for my little boy's birthday. What you think, little buddy? Just as soon as this glue dries, she'll be all set. Happy landing, little buddy.
point me up. Super Cereal deserves a Super Bear. What a weird playroom. I'm lining up for breakfast with my delicious cereal, Cow Chocula. You show off. Kids love my delicious cereal, Frank and Betty. With lots of strawberry flavor and tasty marshmallows. Wow! Good shot, Cow. And a great cereal. Chocolatey flavor and tasty marshmallows. Terrific! Cow Chocula! Frank and Betty. <laughs> 
You can enjoy a good, nutritious breakfast with Frankenberry. Coke Chocula. Hershey is filled with chocolate. I love that Hershey bar. Hershey is That's something special no matter where you are. Anytime you want delicious chocolate, there's no need to run the kids. Best friend. <laughs> ah, cookie crisp cereal. Cookie Jarvis, do you think Cookie Cook will show up today? Oh, I'm afraid so. Uh -oh. <laughs> cookie crisp cereal has a taste he can't resist. Like little cookies, he'll insist. But it's really a cereal. And part of this nutritious breakfast. Why doesn't he just ask for some? I will, I will. Thank you. I'll never steal again. Hooray! But I'll take my ladder, <laughs> just in case. Gunfire! Come, runners. No trouble. No matter what the odds are, you're always ready for a gum fight with Hubba Bubba. Cause soft, juicy, delicious Hubba Bubba lets you blow amazing, no stick bubbles that won't stick to your face. That's why they call them gum runners. <laughs> Big bubbles, no troubles. <laughs> bubba 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 Gum. Being a teenager can be fun. I'm in grade school. Well, a star can pretend like I'm 16. And in high school. <laughs> can a magic star, the pretty hippo queen. She's the dancing, dancing, darling of the high school scene. She's star, yeah, star, that star. She's star is popular. And she's a cheerleader. High school's fun. Yeah. <laughs> star doll comes with a play telephone and all these accessories. From Mattel. The new Fat Albert Show with Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, plus the Brown Hornet. You'll have some fun now with me and all the gang, learning from each other while we do our thing. This is Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before we're done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! When you play bonkers, you roll to go forwards. But a card can send you back. Or forwards, or back again. That's why they call you bonkers. Every time you play a bonkers card, you change the bonkers track. So it's never the same game twice. That's why they call it bonkers. No matter which way you move, you try to land on score and get a point. Because the first one with 12 points wins. That's why they call it bonkers. Bonkers, a family game from Parker Brothers. Presenting Ronald McDonald in the McBreakfast Flight. Hiya, Ronald. I'm giving flying lessons. With no plane? Up, up we go! I'm flying. I'm flying. Look! There's the mayor with hotcakes and sausage. And milk and juice to make it complete. Let's land, Gertie. But I don't know how to land. And I don't know how to fly. <laughs> there goes Bertie. And here comes Ronald. In an elevator? There's so much fun for you today. Huh. Ground floor. At McDonald's. <laughs> A 
another example of my rare talent. <laughs> Rare is right. Your talent's rare, like half face. <laughs> <laughs> to run. There. Now, what do you see? Hmm, let's see. An old gunny sack stuff with old pillows and old mattress stuff? <laughs> Am I hot? Hot? Word, Harold, if you were any colder, we could skate on you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mean wild boar. And I, my adoring fans, am uh, Robin Hood. <laughs> Ever hear of the forest primeval? Yeah, the forest is prime and you're evil. Not since our last visit to the zoo. Ha! Very funny. I don't need none of you cats to tell me how great I really am. No, you got you for that. <laughs> you are on the like in my world. Oh, come here. Ah, uh, our forgettable pal Rudy. Rudy's like expensive perfume. A little bit of him goes a long way. Need I say more? <laughs> nice day. What say? <laughs> How you doing, Rosita? Fine. Sure glad you moved into our neighborhood. Thank you, Mucho. Mucho? You mean much. Oh, sorry. Rudy, I'd like to say something about you. Yeah, I know. You're going to say no class. No, no. You really got a lot of class. <laughs> I don't believe my ears. I got a lot of class. Yeah, lots of class. All of it, second and third. <laughs> <laughs> Look what the clock says. It's the It's not a bird. It's not a bee. It's the brown hornet. Hey, oh, 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 now sit down. As you recall, last time we left our hero, the brown hornet, and his trusty pal Stinger, hopelessly trapped by an evil space giant who submitted them to the cruelest of all tortures, forcing them to eat cold succotash soup with cardboard chopsticks using the brown hornet's superpowers they naturally escaped unharmed Great hey man they did it again now we pick up our heroes as they face an even worse threat stand by loyal crew we are about to face an even worse threat. Look, 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 who say? Look like, oh, look, a truck it, uh, a truck it. Nobody in this part of space speaks that kind of language. Quickly now, give us your exact uh, location. Look like, look like solar plexus. Solar plexus? Pinpoint your location more clearly. I repeat. Pin for quickly, Tweetabelle and Stinger, to your scout crafts. 
Last one to pick up a clue to his exact location is a space frog. Attention, Tweeterbell and Stinger. Time is running out. We must locate him forthwith or fifthwith. But we have no real clue. If only he could have spoken our language, or we could have spoken his. Hold everything. My superhero powers tell me I am zeroing in on my goal. Oh, no! until the proper space authorities arrive to take you to the giant space cage in the sky. I spell a big double. Hey, he, he's giving us money. Oh, no, this is not necessary. But you can repay us and help yourself by learning how to communicate better. Right. Had you been able to make it clear just where you were, We'd have been able to save you quicker. Right. Out here in the vast reaches of space, or any other place, it is important to learn the language of the region. And don't be shy. Give it a try. The Peter, thank you. By Jove, I think you've got it. Well, what is? We're approaching the North 40 frozen sector of space. Brown Hornet, well, well, what's going to happen to us? Just off the top of my head, I would just say that there's an excellent chance we may all end up as space pickles. Good old Stinger. I guess we ought to be glad he's got a low IQ. Think how rough it would be to have him around if he was smart. But thank heaven for the Brown Hornet. He had the answer even before he knew the question. He knew the importance of learning the language of where you live. And even if you don't do it too well, you shouldn't be embarrassed. The important thing is that you try. You know something? Putting off learning is like not taking care of a bad tooth. The more you delay it, the more it hurts. Thanks to the Brown Hornet, the alien now knows the importance of mastering the language of those around you. And now, these messages. The Legoland gas station. You build it for action. You can raise a car up on the lift and check the underside, or fill her up, close the hood, and pretend to take a ride. What can you do with the new public works center? You can build a crane and watch it drop some bricks into a bin, or lift the door, roll out the truck, and let the bricks fall in. The action's up to you. The Legoland Public Works Center from the Legoland Town Collection. Legoland gas station sold separately from Lego Systems. Merlin's a game that you can play, you can play it six different ways. Some like to play at tic-tac-toe, others can test their skill at echo. Some play a tune on Music Machine or try to play Blackjack 13. Merlin is six electronic games in one. It's really fun for most everyone in the family. 
Six ten light batteries not included. With lights and sound. Six games in one. Merlin's a game that's lots of fun. Merlin, six electronic games in one. From Parker Brothers. Here's the new Western Barbie. Beautiful Western Barbie. Let's pretend everyone wants Barbie's autograph. Because she's a Western star. Yeah! Western Barbie comes with an autograph stamp that works. Neat! When you press her back, she winks. Can I have your autograph, ma'am? Sure, partner. No, Dad. <laughs> new Western Barbie doll comes with an autograph stamp, a Western outfit, and all you see here from Mattel. standing on your head for? This is the only way I can keep peanut butter from sticking to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Nice day. I got an extra apple. Would you like it? Oh, thank you. Burrito? Hey, hey, hey. Great. Thanks, Rosita. <laughs> This is a Mexican specialty, right? Oh, she sure doesn't talk much. Hey, uh, Rosita, I got a riddle for you. Are you ready? You know how to make gold stew? Well, to make gold stew, you add 14 carrots. <laughs> Don't you get it? 14 carrots. 14 carrots, gold stew. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, uh, I should have known it'd go over your head. Oh, we all know characters like Rudy who just blurt out what they think. But if they stopped to think, they wouldn't be so unfair. I mean, it isn't right to not like someone because he or she is different. It's not too smart. Because in some ways, we're all different. And in others, we're all alike. But to get back to Rudy, he's not that bad. It's just that he's got a closed mind. And a closed mind, if closed long enough, can't be opened by anything short of dynamite. Now, right now, Rudy's got a closed mind about Rosita, really closed. Now, let's see what's going on at school. Now we'll talk about our presidents. We'll start with George Washington. Does anyone here know why he was called the father of our country? Rosita, could you tell us? Come now, Rosita. I'm sure you know the answer. The father of our country was Jorge. I, I mean, I mean George Washington. Jorge? Ha! Rudy, Jorge happens to mean George in Spanish. Now, please go on, Rosita. Well, George Washington was called the father of our country. <sighs> the final bell. Tomorrow we'll pick up with you again, Rosita. Rosita knows the answer. She's just too shy. Rudy's shy, too. Shy of sensitivity. Now, let's see what's happening a few days later. Rosita? 
She missed class yesterday, too. I be Gabbis, she be Mabis, baby Siddick. As part of tomorrow's assignment, I would like you to bring in a drawing or a poster showing where your parents or their parents came from. You mean like their roots? Right, Albert, right. Hi, Rosita. Hello, Fat Albert. I haven't seen you in school lately. Anyway, Miss Wicker wants us all to bring in posters or pictures or something. Each one has to show where our ancestors came from, you know? <laughs> Dios mío! Dios mío! Ayuda! Ayuda! She trying to tell us something, but we can't understand her. Mrs. Menendez! Rosita! Rosita! Fuego! Hay fuego! Fuego en la cocina! Hay fuego en la cocina, Rosita! Oh! She says her kitchen's on fire! How do you like that, Rosita? Mm-hmm. She came through when nobody else could understand Mrs. Menendez. I sure hope Rosita and Fat Albert know what to do now. Operator, operator, get me the fire department. The fire department? Uh, I'm going to report a fire. Uh, 6034 Wallace Road. Thank you. Oh, no. Water on the grease fire. It only makes us flat all over. <coughs> Bacon soda. That'll be cool. Close call there. But we have to be proud of our pals Rosita and Fat Albert. They just proved that background isn't as important as backbone. And they showed some quick thinking by calling the fire department and not throwing water on a grease fire. I mean, that makes it worse. Remember that baking soda, sand, soap chips, any of these can help smother flames. If you're involved in a fire, the first thing is to get everyone to safety, then report it. But getting back to another problem, let's see what's happening at school. Yesterday, I asked you to bring in a drawing or a poster showing the backgrounds of your ancestors. I only wish Rosita were here, too. But let's carry on. Suzanne, may we see your work? France. In French, good day is bonjour. Ah, France, the world capital of art and learning. Rosita, please come in. Do you have your drawing or poster? Rosita's ancestors came from Mexico. Ah, in Mexico, good day is buenos dias. Mexico has a great heritage. Now, who else can tell us about Mexico? Me, I know about Mexico. Lots of great poets came from there. And painters like Diego Rivera and Orozco. And Mexico gave us lots of great architects and designers, too. Rosita, you've got a great deal to be proud of in your Hispanic culture. Rosita is learning there's a good reason for her to hold her head up because of her Hispanic ancestry. And the other kids can feel the same way over their heritage. And in this case, it's working out just great. And the kids are discovering that they all have things to be proud of. Africa, the seed of early civilization, the continent that gave us the giant pyramids, and also the fine art and sculpture of the inner regions, which has greatly influenced art through the entire world. Italy, center of history for more than 2,000 years. Italy gave us such people as Columbus and Galileo, the great astronomer. And no matter which country they represent, every one of them can be proud of what their ancestors
contributed. All of us came from someplace, but no matter what country it was, every country gave us something of value. Hey, Russell, I bet you wish you had taller ancestors. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Rosita, that sure was interesting in class today, wasn't it? Rosita, how come you don't talk more often? Sometimes I make mistakes and people make fun of me and, and I get embarrassed. Embarrassed? Why? You, you was terrific. Like when Mrs. Um, Menendez had an emergency, nobody understood her, but you saved the day. That's because you speak two languages. Oh, thank you. That helps me. Rosita, I got a great idea. How about you teaching us some words in Spanish? You, you really want me to? <laughs> <clears throat> You're my amigos. Amigo means friend. Okay, Rosita. Now lay some heavy stuff on us. <laughs> you me pareces muy simpático, pero no estoy segura de tu inteligencia. What you just say about me? No class. <laughs> I guess she told him, I've been studying languages myself. Never hurts to know more than one, you know. Never could understand how those little kids in Spain all spoke Spanish so well. Anyway, Rosita understands how important it is for her not to be shy about using the English language. And at the same time, being able to appreciate the beauty of her native language, Spanish. Fat Albert and the kids also have benefited. They've discovered Rosita has a big advantage by being able to speak more than one language. And Rudy and the gang realized it wouldn't be too bad an idea for them to get deeper into their other cultures, too. All have gained from the experience La Pez Rojo, that means a uh, red pencil in Spanish. Hasta pronto, amigos, that means see you soon, friends. <laughs> Mr. Mouth, Mr. Mouth. It's Mr. Mouth, the new game from Tommy that can't keep his big mouth shut. Mr. Mouth, Mr. Mouth. Try to flip your chips into his mouth before he closes it. Mr. Mouth, Mr. Mouth. First one out of chips is the winner. Mr. Mouth, Mr. Mouth. Mr. Mouth with batteries sold separately. Just can't keep his big mouth shut. Mr. Mouth by Tommy. This boy is losing his pull. Why did he lose his pull so soon? He didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really get you going. Hey! Cheerio! From Kenner's Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back collection, it's Tauntaun. My mission is urgent. Tauntaun has removable reins and saddle. Action figures each sold separately. Hail, Rebel Soldier! Han Solo, help! Luke Skywalker's in danger! Tauntaun's front and hind legs move. Luke's okay! I found him! Our mission's complete. Tauntaun, from Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. From Kenner. 